There is no way on God's green earth that LeBron James is just going to bow out gracefully. Anybody who has studied, watched LeBron James behavior, his actions, patterns, anybody who has followed LeBron James over the years knows that LeBron James is just not going to just quietly walk away like a Tim Duncan. That's not his character. That's not his persona. LeBron James, without a doubt, wants that Kobe Bryant red carpet treatment. But you're not going to get that look love that you seen Kobe get. Even in LeBron James' own hometown Cleveland, he didn't get the same type of reception that Michael Jordan got when they had the top 75 ceremony in Cleveland. Michael Jordan was even able to come out last. See, they're trying to force the people and push people into thinking that LeBron James is number two, the second greatest player of all time. You don't get to dictate that, LeBron, to the media, the mainstream sports media. You can't brainwash and fool us into believing believing that he's the second greatest player of all time. It's not going to work. But <laughs> what Draymond Green said, he said it best. Chasing that farewell tour. You ain't Kobe. Thinking you Kobe. They don't love you like that. He should have said that to LeBron. Because that's the facts. You ain't going to never get the honor and the adulation that you see Kobe Bryant get. Kobe put in that work. LeBron James needs to come to realize that he'll be better off retiring in Cleveland. But you know why he won't do that? Because his ego won't allow him. It won't allow him to. See, he wants what Kobe had. And what did Kobe have? Kobe was highly respected and got that unconditional love from the fans and his peers. You know the type of love where you see a sparkle in someone's eyes. You can see that sparkle in Kobe Bryant's eyes at his jersey ceremony because he felt that love. It was genuine. It was heartfelt. We're not wanting to quit when your team is losing. We've seen Kobe have to fight to get his respect. He had to earn it. So although the Lakers had down years, when Shaq got traded, they had down years. Then Kobe Bryant had to carry the franchise on his back and lift them back to glory. When he won that fifth championship and stood on top of the scores table, when he did the father stretch my hands pose, no Kanye West, that was him reaching his arms out to the fans. That was like a, a, a group hug. That's like we did it. Because without y'all, there would be no me. Torn Achilles, shooting free throws on a torn Achilles. Not just jumping off the ship when you see it sinking. Kobe was loyal. That's deep love. That's love you can't pay for. And LeBron James' entire career, it was manufactured. They had to force people into believing that he was the king. It wasn't organic. He was created by a machine. So they pushed a lot of these narratives. At the root of it is nothing real there. That's why they have to create these bots and tell them how to think. That's why they have to push these talking points on television and be little people on television. Because then the average mind, they're going to mimic what they see. They're going to mimic what they see. So it could get inside your subconscious. And if you notice, people go run to defend LeBron James. They have to do that because they know that he's really not that great. And you're going to see the truth. This cult, they have to brainwash this cult. They go out there to defend LeBron James. Because when you remove the programming, then they see for their own that he's not as great as they brainwashed him to think he is. But see, Kobe didn't have that. It was the eye test for Kobe. So the fans had to determine for themselves how great Kobe was. Kobe was a human and he bled just like us. We seen his pitfalls. We seen everything that he went through. So it comes from a real place. LeBron James doesn't have that. It's empty. And that's what he's chasing. He's chasing that in LA. And he could keep chasing it, but he'll never catch it. He want to erase everything that Kobe did. See, y'all don't see it, but y'all going to come to see it. The truth going to come to the light. Watch what I tell you. Mark my words, the type of respect and being the king of L.A. who Kobe was, that's what LeBron James desire. See, he got love in Cleveland, but he don't want that love. He want what Kobe had. So he figure if I get Kobe out the way, they will think of me instead of Kobe. But you'll never get that type of love, LeBron. You know why? The fans will always remember what you did. They never forget your behavioral patterns. They'll never forget how you treated them. They're going to always remember that. When you miss Kobe Bryant's statue unveil, then attended the Super Bowl, they remember that. A few years back, when you faked the injury and then was at the Super Bowl dancing, the Laker fans are always going to remember that. That's going to always sit on their heart. That's going to always sit in, there in the back of their minds. 
What Kobe Bryant established with his fan base, he put on a show for the fans. He never shortcutted the fans for monetary gain to pad his stats. Kobe Bryant said the reason he played through a lot of injuries is like every quote was directed at LeBron. He said, man, you know why I played games where I was injured? And I'm paraphrasing. He was like, you know why I played games where I was injured? He said, because it may have been one fan who may have flew from another country or another part of the state. Somewhere in the world flew all the way over there, paid their hard earned money to come see me play. And I would have set out and they wouldn't have gotten that opportunity to see me play. And I know how, how I would feel if I was a child and I paid to come see my favorite player play. See, the fans, are they're never going to forget that, LeBron. That bubble title is meaningless to us. That RBA Cup, it don't mean to us. See, you were so busy trying to control your own narrative. You're disloyal. And that's why his tune has changed about staying with the Los Angeles Lakers. Now he wants to retire a Laker. He wants to go out like Kobe did was very envious of Kobe Bryant. It's not even so much that he wanted to be like Kobe. He wanted to be Kobe. I think he wanted to be like Kobe so much that he eliminated him allegedly. I think when Kobe Bryant did his farewell tour, LeBron James was low-key jealous of Kobe, but then he also, he wanted that for himself as well. If you look at when LeBron James broke Kareem Abdul-Jabbar's all-time scoring record, I can't remember if that was at halftime where he came out with his suit on and you know he was congratulated by the local organization but it was very much similar to when Kobe Bryant had his jersey ceremony and you know Kobe had his suit Magic Johnson was out there you got to be out of your foolish mind to believe that LeBron James is going to miss the opportunity of attending all these arenas and these franchises doing tribute videos for LeBron James. The entire world is worshiping and praising him, singing his praises, throwing roses at his feet, bowing to his feet, being in the news cycle 24-7 for a full year. You think LeBron James going to miss out on that? Absolutely not. He's never just going to disappear and walk away. He wouldn't even talk about it. He would just retire. He wouldn't even let us know. Tim Duncan didn't just tell us he was just going to retire, but that's who Tim Duncan was. That was Tim Duncan's personality, who he's been since the beginning of his career. LeBron James has always been an attention whore and always thirst for a headline. He's always trying to get his name inside the news cycle. Just LeBron James announcement that he's going to retire is going to have a lot of people talking about him. He dreads for that. So you think that LeBron James is going to miss out on that opportunity of a lifetime to be worshipped? Absolutely not.